Hey YouTube, this is Thinking of Pi. Today, I'll be showing you how to use a motion sensor with your Raspberry Pi. Now the circuit is really simple, there's nothing to it, but the sensor itself is quite interesting. It works a lot like the um, light sensor that I showed you in a previous video. However, this one has a filter on it that only allows through infrared radiation. The infrared radiation then causes a small electrical current which can be measured. Let's go take a look at the circuit and I'll show you how how simple it really is. So this is really all there is to it. We've got our sensor. It's connected to voltage, ground, and a signal line that goes right over here to GPIO 17. And then I've got an LED right here that is connected to GPIO 18 that I'll be using the sensor to trigger and turn on. The sensor itself has own little circuit right here that will output the signal. There it is. Not a lot to it. I'm going to go show you the code now and I'll show you how it works. This is really all there is to the code. We've got the LED defined here. We've got our sensor and we're going to make sure the LED pin is an output. The sensor pin is an input. And then all we have to do is say if sensor pin reads a high signal, then it's going to turn that LED on and we're going to print LED on. Otherwise, if there's no signal coming from the sensor, it's going to output a low signal to the LED and it'll be off. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, it's running now. The LED is off. I've tried to angle it away from me so that it doesn't pick up any infrared radiation coming off of myself. I'm going to reach my hand over there and see if we can trigger it. There it goes. Pretty simple. When I was testing this, I had a really hard time trying to stay out of the field of view of the sensor, and it might still pick me up if I get too close to it, but pretty simple. Not a lot to it. That's all I've got for today, guys, though. Um, next week, I will be showing you um, an ultrasonic rangefinder. Those things are pretty neat. They actually use sound to measure distance, kind of like echolo echolocation that bats use. Don't Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, I'd love to read your comments below, and I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.